Signs and Symptoms of a Bad Ignition Coil and Solution An ignition coil problem can present in many ways. If your car experiences any of these symptoms, you may have a defective ignition coil. 1. Engine misfires 2. Rough idle 3. A drop in car power, particularly in acceleration 4. Poor fuel economy 5. Difficult to start the engine 6. Check engine light is on 7. Exhaust backfiring 8. Increased hydrocarbon emission 9. Exhaust gas smell 10. Leakage of fuel What is an ignition coil? This video will help us understand what an ignition coil is before we look into any potential ignition coil problems. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of new videos. The ignition coil, also known as a spark coil, is responsible for starting a car's engine. It is an integral part of the ignition system. The car's battery is low in voltage, 12 volts, but it requires thousands of volts to start the ignition on the spark plug. The ignition coil is a tiny transformer that converts 12 volts from the car's battery to the thousands of volts required. The ignition coil provides the energy the spark plug needs to ignite the fuel needed to create combustion. Your car won't start if there is no combustion. This video will focus on a single ignition coil. However, most engines have, at minimum, four ignition coils. Sometimes, they are grouped in a coil package. It could cause problems in your car's ignition coils. Awareness of the signs and symptoms of a defective ignition coil is essential. We'll go over them in detail. 1. Difficulty starting the engine Your ignition coil could be causing difficulty in starting your car's engine. Modern engines are equipped with multiple ignition coils. You could experience trouble starting your engine if you have numerous lousy ignition coils. Many other problems could make an engine difficult to start. More than having difficulty starting your engine is needed to prove an ignition coil problem. 2. Engine misfiring slash stalling Your ignition coil could be the problem. If your engine stalls, misfires, stops suddenly, or accelerates, it could indicate a problem. If your engine makes a misfire, it could sound like a wheezing noise, sputtering noise, or feel like you are vibrating or jerking. This indicates that one of the engine's combustion chambers isn't firing correctly. Misfires can occur when an engine is stressed and can produce emissions. A bad ignition coil can cause increased exhaust emissions and a stench of gas from the exhaust. Many other factors could cause misfires, including difficulty starting the engine. Faulty ignition coils can cause a car to stall due to irregular sparks from the spark plug. 3. Poor fuel economy A bad ignition coil could cause your car to get less mileage when you fill it up. It happens because your system injects more fuel to compensate for the fact that your spark plugs don't get enough power due to a faulty ignition coil. Fuel leaks may also be an indication of a flawed ignition system. A failing MAF sensor or a dirty engine filter can cause poor fuel economy. You should address potential problems. 4. Check the engine light The engine's check engine light will indicate that something is wrong. Your check engine light will turn on if there is an ignition coil problem. Check engine light issues should be addressed. However, as with other symptoms, check engine lights can also be caused by engine problems. An OBD2 onboard diagnosis check is the best way to determine why your engine light is on. A mechanic can do an OBD2 scan, or you may do it yourself using an OBD2 scanner. Codes P0300 through P0312 are misfire codes, while codes P0350 through P0362 indicate ignition coil problems. Types of ignition coil When trying to repair an ignition coil problem, there are many types of ignition coils. Here are three types of ignition coils. Coil on plug, COP. Coil near a plug, CNP. Coil per cylinder, CPC. Coil on plug is the most popular system with multiple coils. Each cylinder has one ignition coil, which connects to the spark plug. A CNP setup might be used if there isn't enough space for a comp. It could be because the spark plugs protruded from the cylinder head. The coils would then be connected to the plug using short plug wires. Depending on whether your COP or CNP system is used, there are different ways to inspect for ignition coil problems. We'll discuss these in the next section. 
How to test an ignition coil If done incorrectly, testing an ignition coil could prove dangerous. This video is for informational purposes only. A qualified specialist should be able to help you safely test the ignition coil. You can test for ignition coil problems using an OBD2 scan described in the check engine lights section. It will require an OBD2 scanner. Codes P0300 through P0312 are indicative of engine misfires. Codes P0350 through P0362 indicate ignition coil problems. You will need to look at the ignition coil for other tests. You will need to look at your vehicle's manual to determine the location of your ignition coil. It would be best to take all precautions to ensure you are not electrocuted. Once you have located your ignition coil, it is time to inspect for signs of damage. Checking the wiring of your ignition coil is the easiest step. You can check the ignition coil wiring for damage or deterioration. Also, inspect the connector and coil harness for any faults. If the problem persists, remove each ignition coil from your engine and inspect it for damage. It would be best if you were careful while looking for moisture signs in the ignition coils. Liquids can cause damage. You can also run another test if you have a CNP ignition. For this type of test, you should always use insulated tools. 1. Turn off the engine of your car. 2. Take out the spark plug wire. 3. Connect a new spark plug to the spark plug wire. 4. Use insulated tools to hold the threaded end of the spark plug to a metal part of your engine. 5. Use the appropriate tools to remove the fuse from your fuel pump. 6. Crank the engine. Once the engine is crank, look out for sparks in the spark plug gap. Your ignition coil should produce blue sparks, this proves your ignition coil is working correctly. If you don't see any blue or orange sparks, your ignition coil is likely not working correctly. Once you finish, return the parts to their original positions. Depending on the type of ignition coil and your level of expertise, there are many